I'm Cal. This is Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Cal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Without the coffee. <laughs> yes, uh, we both had our coffee already, probably. Well, I did. Yeah. Yeah, so we have iced tea. We have iced tea now. Um, Crafts and tea. There you go. Oh, we got some tea. Just kidding. <laughs> no, we don't. Not really. <laughs> Um, I'm working on um, Pleasant Picnic from DAC. I'm almost finished. I just have the green down here. So I'm so excited. I'm going to get this so bad boy cute. on the wall. I love it. Love it. I've had so much fun working on it. Have you been like thinking about your childhood? Uh, seriously, like that is one of the happiest points of my childhood was strawberry shortcake. So mm -hmm. I love working on her. I bought a shirt from Timu. It is so cute. I saw it. You should put the picture in. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to remember to put that in. I might have deleted them actually just recently. But you shared it with us. So I did. Oh, look. You could, but yeah. it, I mean, that's on social it's media. It's cute. But anyway, um, I'm in my 80s theme. I have my strawberry cup. I bought this from Timu. Look how cute is this <laughs> little box. I love it. I, it's so cute. I thought I'd bring it, and just since I'm just bringing a couple colors and a couple things. Um, cute. So cute. Anyway, I'm loving it. And you? I am at towards the end of um, Ray by uh, Hannah Lynn, DAC, and she's a small one, but yeah. I was like, let me see how fast I could get her done. <laughs> like, I've only posted one picture. How long has it taken you? Um, I think I started on the first, so this is oh, about 12 okay. days in, which is not super fast, but... Um, I need it around in my life. The 12th today? Yeah. That's not bad, I think. Yeah. I need it around in my life. These squares are killing me, and usually wow. I, I'm like a square lover. Yeah. But I'm like, I need a break. Um, and I'm blinging her up a little bit. Um, if you guys don't know, like around her... Um, swimsuit top there's like lace around the top and bottom when I think of lace I think of lingerie and so I don't know I just I I you weren't feeling it I'm not feeling the lace and I um I hit up a couple you know YouTube friends asking them what they think and it does translate well with finished pictures but I just I don't know, I'm not feeling it. So I think I'm gonna bling that up. I'm gonna bling her eye and lips up like I normally do, and then her necklace. But other, and then I did bling up um, the rays of, you know, sun coming off of the sun. And that's it. I didn't wanna overdo it. I was leaving her top for last too, cause I was thinking of blinging that up too, but I don't mm -hmm. need to bling that up if I'm gonna make the outside bling. Right, right. And I don't, I just, I need to stop overthinking this blinging thing because like I was telling you when you got here, like I'm holding so many good trays hostage yeah. for I am, and I was just blinging I am up so much that it became too much for my brain and I wasn't really enjoying it. Mm. Yeah, this one was funny because it came with like, what does it have? Uh, three ABs and then two fairy dust. Oh, so oh, I've never seen fairy dust. Oh, I'll show you when you, I pour them. Um, oh, you did bring them. I did bring okay. one of them. Is um, it the glitter? Here, yes. let me show you what it looks like. It's this one actually. They're not glitter. Um, I don't know how I'll to just explain pour a it. Couple in my hand. It's very hard to see, but um, they're not. They're nice. I like them actually. Where are they here? Um, is it? Do they have more facets? Are they I more diamond? I don't. They're you know very what? different. They're very they, lightly dusted with like a uh, coating, but not heavy like ABs. It's very subtle. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's this color like this one right here. This mm. row. I mean, you can't even. Okay. It's not bad. It's not overly done. Okay. Um, yeah, it it reminds me of like a very fine glitter. Yes, like it's tiniest, very tiniest, tiniest of glitter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. That's it's, cool. It's um actually, and it's this one, this light light blue color in here, like right here. Okay. So it's it's not. If, done. Yeah, nice. you I wouldn't like know it. it I mean, if anything, maybe it adds like a little bit of texture. Or something. Yeah. 
There you yeah. go. Yeah. But like all of her hat, like most of her hat uh -huh. is a is A B. Okay. Um this hat is all okay. A B. Um there's a lot in his mm -hmm. scarf. So I didn't have yeah. to add much. I just added a little a few sparklers to the blueberries. All the blueberries. Uh huh. Um but that was it. Cute. Like this one. I wanted to add the the pink sparklers to this mm -hmm. and I forgot and I did it. Oh. Because this one is all um ABs. ABs. So okay. I was gonna do something. But you know what, they know what they're doing. It turned it's turning out really cute. Mm-hmm. I love it. All of their socks have ABs. How cute. Yeah. And the fairy dust. Like the attention to detail. Yeah. And how it does look straight out of like the coloring book. Or, I love it. Know? It's such, it is mm -hmm. definitely the old school. Mm hmm You know, I love it. Anyway. Cool. I can't find my book that I like document all of when I start dates and all that. It's in my house. I just don't know where it is. My it's just everything is such a mess. My craft room's a mess. It was in your craft room because remember you said I could tear a page out. Okay, so it's there. So probably it's, from it was right. Unless I moved it to my room when I started this and I wrote uh, the date in it. Probably. And so anyway, I know it's there. I just I went back to work this week. How was that? Um it was good actually. It wasn't a bad week. It was kind of like the most we did was like an hour long surgeries. Oh, okay. um, so only an hour at a time. We did have one emergency, but it went super well. The surgeon was so, he's like, of all the cranies I've done at different hospitals, emergency cranies, this one was the smoothest I've ever had. He's like, thank you so much, you guys. You wow. guys are amazing. He's like, Christy, would you want to come work days, you know? And I was like, no, doc, I don't. You know, he just, he really likes me. That's nice. um, He loves, and he's, and this doc, people don't like him. He's really? very, he can be very Critical. temperamental. Mm. He's just, he thinks everybody's a moron. So. It's a big deal to get a compliment. Oh, yeah. Him. And he really likes us. So he, I go, I'm glad you're happy, but don't spread the word. Like, you know, <laughs> we don't want to work anymore at night. <laughs> Right? We like so, to keep it low key at night. Exactly. <laughs> um, but it's, it was good to be back with my coworkers because they're like friends to me. Um, oh, good. It got me, it was just good to kind of get out of the house and. I mean, but it's been hard physically, you know. As you're yawning. Like shit, <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah. Like every day, like by three in the after, three in the morning, I'm just like, I want to cry, you know? Oh. But it's okay. I just. Well, you're gonna settle. How, you're gonna settle back into that, you know, schedule again. Yeah, make it work. So. I know how much you were dreading going back, so I was worried about you. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's okay. You know, it's it's it is what it is, and it. I don't love the place I work at. I think that management and everything is just not the best like it used to be. Mm -hmm. But I do actually still enjoy my job. That's good. A lot more than I expected, so that's good. And I know mentally it's better for me mm -hmm. to be out of the house sometimes, you know? Yeah. Even though my health isn't the greatest, it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it makes you feel accomplished, right? Like, you know? You know, yeah, I mean, like that, you know, getting the compliments and, you know, it was just... It was nice, like talking to other people. Where you know the Hawaiian, the Maui fire went on, and we were just talking about that a lot, and um, just I don't know. It was just it was good. I have to say, I, I it was good. Now when I start having to do those long surgeries at night, and mm -hmm. you know, it's that's gonna take a huge toll. I mean, my back has been killing me. I, I like this shoulder blade has been so bad. Mm. Um, but Jason's been so sweet. He gives me a massage a couple times a week when I get home from work. Oh. So, you know, he always has my tea ready. He's so cute. When I get home, the hot water's boiled. I always drink green tea before I go to bed, you know? Mm -hmm. That's like my drink in the morning or, you know, when I get home. And so he always brings me my tea or at night when I'm home. So he's really cute that's about that. Nice. Like, bring me toast or like, what do you want to eat? You know? Oh, that's thoughtful. Yeah, so he's like taking care of me. He, he did that before when I was off work too. He'd always make me tea at night and mm -hmm. yeah. That's so, sweet. Yeah. Gotta appreciate the little things. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Cause you know, they add up. That's yeah. That's for sure. The, there looks like there's a little momentum with the writer's strike. They're in talks again. Oh, good. So they had a meeting yesterday and they're now have a new negotiation, like a new uh, offer. So they're going to review that and then make an announcement next week. 
Wow. Praying to God they come to an agreement and he can start work again. Yeah. Because um, how long has it been now? God, it's been since, I think, May 1st started the writer's strike. Wow. Yeah, way so longer than they expected. Plus. Wow. It's been 100 days. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. But anyway. Yeah, it's like, who's going to hold out the longest, you know? Right. Like, yeah. Right. Um, my daughter and the baby and her husband should be moving in with me shortly. They're cleaning out their apartment. Okay. So they should be coming soon. Um, I don't think you mentioned that on the channel before. Oh, yeah, they're moving in with me. Um, so short term, hopefully, but I don't know. I mean, I told her like, you guys just get your money right. You know, she wants to go to school. She might, they're thinking of moving to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. She wants to start a nursing program. Oh, okay. There's one out there that's like a three year program hmm. for like 30 grand. So that's really good. And, but it's a commitment. So yeah, for you sure. Know. You can't just start it and walk no. away. So she's like been doing applications and stuff. She thinks she wants to be a nurse and. I told her it's going to be the hardest thing you ever do, but yeah. you'll be able to take care of your daughter. You can work anywhere in the country. It's a really good job. Yeah. It's physically demanding, but you know, there's room for growth. And if you go back to school, you can be in management and mm -hmm. you know, administrator. There's so many different, you can be a nurse. There's so many different avenues for a nurse. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see. that's awesome. We will see, we will see in time what happens, but. That's what's going on in my life. Well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, so my daughter just had her 25th birthday. Yes, that she was did. fun. I was like, what did you guys do? Did you do anything? Go to dinner? Or anything? Yeah, um, we actually, she wanted to go to the Cliff House, which is a really nice restaurant here in town that I have never even been to. Okay. And, because it's um, that nice. <laughs> well, yes, and that, like, I'm not one to venture out on my own, so if mm -hmm. someone doesn't invite me or say, let's go there, then right. I probably wouldn't end up there. Um, even though in the past, like, my coworker has told me, like, oh, you know, um, I go, my husband and I go there every year for our anniversary, and... They have like a really good happy hour, I guess. But okay. I guess the place kind of intimidated me, you know. Oh, honestly. really? Yeah. Because it's like, you know. Fancy? It's pretty fancy, but even though some people were really dressed casually, which is fine. Um, yeah. But um, maybe it. we'll put up some pictures here. She did. Oh, good. Like, um, there were eight of us. Oh, um, because it was me, oh, me and Elijah and Alana, of course, and then her boyfriend, Sunny, mm -hmm. his parents, oh. and then his two sisters. That's amazing. I didn't know yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And, um, I had, uh, hung, met his parents one time before and, um, they're really cool people. Do you think they're going to get married? I've asked them. Uh-huh. And, um... She actually, she works for a law office, but she's actually an ordained something. The she can marry mom? people. Yeah, oh. the mom can marry people. She has Instagram, um, I do, I do's. Oh, cute. <laughs> so she'll mar she marries people. Yeah. And um, I asked um, my daughter that, and she goes, she goes, maybe, but we're not in, like, a hurry, you right. know? They're not in a hurry to get married. That's good. Like, they've been together for a few years now. Wow. And they do really well, right? They get along well. Yeah. They don't argue, really, huh? No. And I listen to them, like, um, usually every night, like, she'll make dinner and they'll eat here at the bar, mm -hmm. at the house. And, like, I just listen to them talk and how That's, they get along. I love it. And I really get along with him. He's never He's a very nice guy. Yeah. He's... He's never disrespected her, you yeah. know. He he's he was actually a huge support when everything was going down with my marriage. Right, and like he was the one marriage. that was helping, looking for him. You mm -hmm. know, calling you know homeless shelters and calling you know like right. calling places. And he was a very calm presence that right. I needed during that time because obviously me and the kids were very upset. Yeah. And, um, I taught, I told him later, you know, like 
thank you for, you know, all of your help. Thank you for your calm presence. Thank you for, you know, and, and just he and I have had one-on-one yeah. -on -one talks where, you know, he'll tell, he told me about his childhood and stuff and his yeah. relationship with his parents. And so we've had some really good discussions. That's good. I like Sunny. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. him. He comes to our family stuff whenever yeah. we have, you know, like mm -hmm. mom's um, uh, spreading of her ashes, her memorial. He was there. Yeah. He's, just, he's a nice he guy. He came out to Caprice's grand yeah. opening. Yeah. He's for her shop. Yeah. Um, like to the house, I think. He's been at my house a few times for yeah. pool parties and when yeah. Wendy and Uncle Keith came yeah. out with mom. Um, yeah. He came, yeah, he's, I yeah, like that. He's, he's a very, he's yeah. part of the family. Yeah. He's a very nice guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I was thinking like, how lucky did I get? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> because I mean, you know, the in-laws, you know, you never know what you're gonna yeah. get. And, yeah. and um, like, I feel like usually I'm not comfortable around people at first. Like I'm very on edge and anxious and, yeah. But I immediately felt comfortable at their house when I went there. Nice. Um, and they speak when fluent I went, English. Oh, and they're yeah. from here and all that. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, they're they're bilingual though. But oh, that's awesome. No, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, especially and, if they have kids. Oh, yeah. Your kids can learn. I love that Gianna speaks Spanish. You mm -hmm. know, she loves oh, Spanish. Yes. Yeah. That's um, good. And I was like. And like the mom just wants to hang out with me at the casino and have a couple drinks and That's like so she cool. diamond paints her and her daughter diamond oh, paints. Did they start because of you? No, they had actually started before, but I had gathered a bunch of stuff yes. for his little sister. Remember? Yes, I do. Yeah. Like I gave her like so much stuff and yeah. and um. It was really interesting because the first time I went to their house and met everyone. The little daughter, I think she's gonna be a fifth grader. Okay. Um, but she's so quiet, like she doesn't really talk to anyone. So mm -hmm. I was like warned, like if she doesn't talk to you, don't be offended. Like yeah. she doesn't talk to anyone. Yeah. Well, she actually gave me a hug. Oh. When I first adorable. met her. And it w and they were like, oh you my god, stuff to her. I had sent right. stuff to her. And um, she and they were like floored. They're like, no one ever gets a hug. No one That's even so gets cute. to talk to her. You know, and then this time she gave me a hug too when we were leaving dinner. Yeah. And even though she didn't talk that much, you know, yeah. and I was like, yeah, we're cool. <laughs> That's adorable. I love that. But, um, That's so nice. But I was telling the mom, I was like, um, I was like, okay, people, this blew my mind, diamond painters. So she was like, it takes me forever to finish one. I started one in December and I still haven't finished it. And I said, well, how are you working on it? Are you sectioning it off? Yeah. She goes, I start at the first number and I do all of that number and I go down the, the whole thing. Yes. Okay. And I go, okay, that explains a lot. That is, yeah, definitely. Because she was probably, not frustrated. She's probably spending so much time hunting. Yes. Like that would drive me insane. Tell her, like I was trying because like we were kind of far across the table, yeah. but I was like, oh, I was like, she goes, I try to get my other kids to help me, but they won't help. Me. I go, I will come over. We will have wine, yes. and I will help you work on a diamond painting. And I, I was trying to ask her like, do you section it off? But yeah. when she was like, I worked the whole thing. I was like, oh, we can't have and this it's discussion a right now. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's got to be. It has to be. It. That's my that dro drove me crazy when yeah. she told me that because I was like, oh girl, I can help you out. Mm -hmm. Like, because mm. the last three days I was working on Dream Tree, I was pulling my hair out because it's so much confetti. And I was kind of, I was trying to do the whole thing at once and just spin it as mm -hmm. I went. But then I was like, you know what? I am hunting for symbols now. I was like, I have to do half at a time now and it was just the last three days I was so over it yeah and I and that's partly why I sectioned this one off mm -hmm. even though it's so small to me to yeah. me right. it's a 43 by 61 so mm -hmm. to me that's like an this ideal is like small to me yeah. yeah after all the yeah. J walls seriously um but I was like yeah we will I will help you with your diamond painting. We yes. will have some wine and we will talk and craft. Exactly. Like that to me, so that cool. sounds fun. 
And she lives close? Uh, yeah, in Indio, yeah. Okay, not like, too far. Yeah, no, like probably 15 minutes or something. Nice. No big deal. Yeah. And that's cool, then you'll have a diamond mm -hmm. painter close. Yeah. That's so awesome. And I, yeah, that would, yeah. So I, I'm excited. She had invited me to go to um, the casino because during the summer they have tribute bands mm -hmm. and at, at night outside, actually, even like though that. it's fucking hella hot. Right. You know, it's still 90 degrees. Yeah. 95 sometimes. But um, they'll have tribute bands, and she invited me, but that was the same uh, weekend of um, Tova's graduation from mm -hmm. college. Okay. So I didn't end up going, because she was having like a girls' night, and she invited me to go, That's which is so very nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. So I, I feel that. like her and I could, you know, really be cool, and yeah. And the dad's quiet, He, but um, He's a good storyteller, you mm -hmm. know, he was in the Marines, and he was telling my son, oh, I should write a book, I have some stories. Yeah. And then as we were leaving, he was, you know, he was telling my son, like, you should come hang out, and, oh, you know, that. and then we get, and my son and I get in the car to leave, and he's like, they're so fucking cool. <laughs> I love that. I love when you, like, having adult children, and you can get, make friends and have, like, extended family off yeah. of, you know, like, I like my son-in-law. He's, he's, um, he's really come into the family. You know, the only problem is my, they have issues, him and my daughter, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's really hard, and I don't get involved. Like, she'll tell me stuff, she gets frustrated, or this and that, and I'm just kind of like... He's in his 30s. Well, I really can't sit there and say much. Right. But it's also hard now they're moving in. I feel like I need to have discussions with them when it comes to it's finances. It's going to affect you. Because it's now affecting me. Yeah. And I don't this, I don't want to be a crutch to them. And if I can help guide them and teach them. For sure. You know, that'll be good. Um, but it's, it's just really hard not to get involved, you mm -hmm. know. And, you know, he does. He's he's much better about like being a part of the family and stuff and we he and I can talk and be in the pool and that's you good. know um you know it's but it's hard because it's like well I mean they're married so it's different so I feel like I can really like be like um um kind of like be all in where it comes to my other daughters and their boyfriends like I get attached to them and then they're gone right you know like I really like my middle daughter's boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I, I think I like him more than he does. <laughs> you know, so that's and that hard. sucks for you because one yeah. day he could just be out. <laughs> I think he's a very good guy. Like mm -hmm. he's very nice, but they, you know, she has her own issues with, you know, she doesn't want to be really like committed and involved with someone because she has her daughter, and so she, you know, she wants that priority. time with her daughter, and yeah. you know, doesn't need him around all the time, and so he feels like I want to see you, I love you, you know, I want to be around you guys, and mm -hmm. the baby likes him so much. She, like yesterday when I was over, she asked Bubby, and she's Aww. like, oh, Bubby's at work, you know, because they had just gone to dinner the night before, Cute. and so you know, I just he's a really good person. So we'll see, you know. And you know, something I've learned too, though, is relationships are by design. Yeah. Like, they could make this work. Yeah. They could. Yeah. If they both wanted to. Right. Like, you have, you know, husband and wives not even together all the time. Yeah. You know, like, if they're traveling a lot or, Look you at know. My relationship. Yeah. It's not conventional. Right. You know, but also it's not for everyone, you know. True. And, and he, you know, her boyfriend has heard how we are and he's like, yeah, I don't want to not sleep with my girlfriend, you know, in the same room. And I get that. We're unconventional, but. Look at Stitcherista and her husband. They, they sleep don't. on different floors. Right, right. But it's like. When they come together, they come together. Yeah, they have dinner like, together. They spend right. time together. Yeah, yes. they're still married. Exactly. They just go, okay, good night, and go exactly. to their respective areas. Which, I mean, it's, to me, it sounds more ideal the older I get because it's like, mm -hmm. you can have your little space. I have my space. And but you we enjoy still each other and you care like, about each other. Come together yep. kind of from a fresh place. Like if you're constantly around someone. Yeah. Especially when you, like, are over it. 
a, a, yeah. a couple hours but I, could do wonders yeah. being in your own But room. I think that, like, you know, we're almost 50, you know, so True. Teresa's in her 50s, right? Yeah, Isn't she yeah. 50? I'm sure. I'm sure she around is. Around there. If, yeah. Or but almost. when you're in your 30s, that's, like, absurd. True. And even in my 30s, I wouldn't have thought that that would be the thing I would do. True. You know? True. Um, yeah, and when I was with my husband, like, he was like, there would never be a day where we would not sleep in the same bed, mm -hmm. you know, like. Yeah. And then you well, said, look at now. Chris, what? <laughs> <laughs> we're not sleeping in the same house. <laughs> hey, yeah, exactly. You know? Um, anyway, but, yeah, it's really hard because my oldest daughter, she doesn't like when I really talk to her boyfriends, you know, because. Really? I feel, I mean. Because she doesn't want you to get attached? I, I feel like maybe that's part of it, yeah, because then, like, when she was younger, I really like she had this boyfriend and he was a really good guy and my dad passed away and then you know he's here helping make food for the funeral you know for the after service and then like he's pushing my grandma around in the wheelchair and I have all these fond memories of him and I think he's a really good person and then they break up and I'm still friends with him on Instagram and stuff and she didn't like that you know and I'm still like talking to him but we're not talking about her we're just hey how you doing how you, you right. know how's life yeah and she does not she wants me to cut it when she cuts it mm. you know and it's hard for me you know and so now I just I, wonder, I don't really follow them on social media I try not to but if they request me I'm gonna not you know I'm gonna I don't know I just have I to have this why wall up. she she wants you I understand if the relationship is over it's over but why does she insist that upon you? I don't know. I guess because she doesn't want to know what the on. You know, and I don't really tell her what's going on in their lives if we're friends. Right. You know, and, but now it's like all those relationships she had, I'm not really friends with them on social media anymore yeah. as much, you know. And um, a couple, you know, but there's like a boy ex-boyfriend she had in high school that she's still friends with. And he came by the shop. You met him. Yeah, Antoine. he was really nice. He's a nice kid. And, um, yeah. We still talk and, you know, when we see each other. And that doesn't bother her. No, obviously, because she, he's, he's still in her, her life. life. Yeah. You know, they're still good friends. And um, anyway, it's just, it's a weird, weird dynamic for me because I'm like somebody that when my kid's dating someone, I want to bring them into the family. Mm -hmm. um, not Especially everyone, if, they bring if them I don't around. like them. You know? <laughs> right. There's been a few I don't really care for, but um, anyway. It's, it's a unique, unique thing. Yeah. I so. mean, I think my daughter's so independent and she's so, I, I know it sounds weird, but it's like, she's wise. Like she's a Leo. Like she has mm -hmm. such grace. Like she makes everything look so easy and she's very independent and I love that about her. Like, I feel like I'm so codependent. Yeah, so she is. So seeing She's... her so independent, mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to be like her when I grow up, you know? But she's just such a sweetheart. She's, yeah. she's very her quiet. Heart, her heart is big. Big heart. Yeah. So sweet. Such a sweet girl. Like, it's so weird to even think she could get angry. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever seen her angry in yeah. person, you know? But I don't, I don't see her all the time anyway. Right. But, I mean, she's just a great kid. She's, mm -hmm. I mean, Elijah too. Both the kids are just such great kids. Thank you. Yeah. You know. I think I, I'm, I'm going to potentially have a harder problem with him. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. When he, because mm -hmm. he did have a long-standing relationship for a while. And I liked her enough, you know. I mean, yeah. I, did, I didn't, like, take her out to lunch or anything. Right. You know, I didn't have, like, one-on-one -on -one time with her. Mm -hmm. But she was she was nice enough, you know. And they had their ups and downs. And, yeah. um, well, there was this one girl I didn't like when he, he was in high school and going through a lot of mental health issues. Yes. He was with this girl who was on antidepressants, which is fine, mm -hmm. but she was like pushing them on him. Like oh, that wow. was going to be the solution to his depression mm -hmm. or his issues was take a pill. And I said, you don't take anyone else's prescription. Absolutely like, That not. is prescribed for their needs. It's not like a freaking Tylenol mm -hmm. or Advil. Like, no. And yeah. if you think you need a prescription, then you're going to go talk to someone, right. you know, I mean, and, and yeah, she wasn't my favorite, but um, 
they didn't last and they met at work and he learned like never yeah <laughs> it's not advisable to date someone at work it, or it could be create long-term problems yeah. if you plan on working there for a mm -hmm. long time and um so yeah so he's single now but like life goes on like i mean we have new neighbors like the neighbors we had they were there when we moved in and mm -hmm. we've been here for almost 10 years it'll be 10 years this december wow. so when they moved out i was like life really does go on mm -hmm. like, yeah you know you even though so i'm going through and, comfortable. and you know everything i'm going through like personally i feel like not stuck but it almost feels like life doesn't go on and mm -hmm. and like i had a really bad patch last week when I called you and I was like what's the point of everything mm -hmm. like what's the fucking point of any of this you know and yeah. and then the neighbors move the new neighbors and I'm like life goes on you know people yeah. like life goes on and so it was kind of a reminder like no life is not stopped you know yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna keep on going and it is what you make of it and right. yeah that's it that's it. Life goes on, people. Life goes on. <laughs> How do you like my corner? I like it. You gotta add more. I know. Well, these were my your first. My, well, these were my two life with out. Lindsay's. Mm -hmm. My first year, second year. Okay. Yeah, life with I Lindsay's. So, um, yeah, we'll see what next January brings. But are you, that is that it? You're reserving the house for just <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Not at <laughs> all. Like we're gonna have some bare walls for a while. Not at all. You know, I had the rolling TV in here. I mm -hmm. had it right here for the longest. Well, yesterday was the first NFL preseason football game. So, or this week. Steelers. Steelers. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we have things, people. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll get some other stuff you up. You gotta Actually, do a custom diamond painting of Steelers. I did. You did, right? I, I could have swore you did. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? You gotta put it up. Yeah. I'm wondering, did I do it and give it, gift it? Who would you gift it to? My best friend's uh, brother is Steelers oh. now in Illinois. Oh. You better not did have. I send it to him? I may have. It was a small one, though. Yeah, yeah. But... Actually, we'll probably cut this video off soon, but I did go through all of my frames because I have a bunch of frames mm -hmm. and I went through all of my finished diamond paintings that aren't um, hung up. Yeah. And so now I know what frames I have and what Good. I can frame and then the ones that I need, what sizes I need. Mm -hmm. So I am going to be getting more bad boys up. Yeah. I was thinking about this one because I love it so much. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I'm like, do I want to just do a magnetic frame or do I want to do a real frame? Because this is like, this is my heart. Man. Yeah. I, I can't even tell you how much I'm, I'm in love with this. So I might actually do like a real frame for this bad boy. Yeah. I might. I mean, the only thing with the real frames is glass, right? Mm -hmm. And then it may take away from the shine a little bit. But I mean, yeah, if you want to keep it in pristine. Yeah. You know, and where would you, do you know where you would hang it? In my craft room. Oh, okay. In the corner where oh, we would film. Okay. I want to do all the strawberry shortcakes. Oh, I have cute. Wonder Woman, but I might move her. Okay. Um, but I want to make that my strawberry corner. Yeah. 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 Love it. All right. Um, did you bring dad jokes? I don't know. I can't find my folder. So oh, I, yeah. yeah. So we're going to okay. let you do Well, it. I, I was just going to kind of wing it and find, I mean, um, people send me some, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, TSL always... Dame sent some. Oh, okay. To, in the, to our the Instagram. Um, Instagram. Okay, yeah. I'll go there. I think there's a couple there. Here we go. Here we go. Because as long as they're not too long. One of them, of them she are said, super long. "Oh, this is." She thought if she was sending it to you, and I responded. So look for that one, maybe. Okay. Okay, yeah, because she said, um, Chris, this one is for you. But I think yeah. she was getting us confused. No, 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 yeah, but she sent you one earlier, I think. Oh, but okay. anyway, read that one. It's okay, funny. because of um, our oh shit video. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is why she sent that this one. Um, why are dingleberries brown? Why? Because that's just the way shit is. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
Very so true. if you didn't watch our oh shit video, you will understand more. This one is just discovered that I have a superpower. What's I can cut wood just by looking at it. I know it's hard to believe, but I saw it with my own two <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Thank you, TSL Dane. Oh, Thank you. And uh, hey, if you didn't see the unboxing, check it out. We'll post it here at the end of the video so you can click and look at the unboxing Chris did. Karen uh, wrote, she's like, I love your enthusiasm through these videos, the unboxings, because okay. I was so excited about them. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for us. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, crafters. Bye.